the SEC had for a while, and I don't want to go over the lengthy um, historical uh, background, but basically they had opened up a, a comment, a notice and comment period where they were saying, hey, we're thinking about doing this thing with a cyber disclosure rule. We want you, the public, to be aware of it, and would you give us some feedback? And that happened over a period of many, many months. And then finally this year, they said, all right, we're going to go forward and we're going to make this our rule. And essentially, here's what the rule says and what it means. And I'm quoting here from the, from the Forbes article. According to the new rules, public companies will have to disclose a cybersecurity incident within four business days of determining that the incident is material. What does material mean, I wonder? That's my, my comment, not theirs. A material cybersecurity incident is one that is likely to have a significant impact on the company's business, financial condition, or operations. It's a fairly broad uh, definition, but nevertheless, that's their definition. It's a four-day disclosure deadline. And the purpose why this rule was developed and ultimately um, made is that they want to make sure that investors have timely information about cybersecurity incidents that could impact their investment decisions. It seems pretty common sense. The SEC says we... We want to have four days where if you have a cyber incident, you have up to four days to disclose it. If you go beyond that, that's going to be a material negative impact on investors. Investors obviously have a right to know whether the public companies that they're trying to invest in or actually own uh, shares in are being breached. You could see why that would be a material uh, thing to, to know as an investor. Makes sense, right? Not, nothing too earth shattering here. The new rules also require public companies to disclose information about the following aspects of a cybersecurity security incident, right? So once they've determined that it's a legitimate incident, that it's material, here are the things that they want to know. The nature of the incident, what happened, the impact of the incident on the company's business. Number three, the steps the company has taken to address the incident, remediation, forensics, recovery. I think I think someone on a MSP podcast recently talked about something called cyber resilience, but I'll have to go dig into my notes to figure out where who said that. The steps the company has taken to address the incident and finally the company's policies and procedures for managing cybersecurity risks. All right, did you get that? Nature of the incident, the impact of the incident, steps the company has taken to address the incident, the response, and the company's policies and procedures for managing cyber risks. 